focusing on drop. Afternoon, you scaly fuckers. Oh yeah, uh, change your background. Um, I had a bit of a moment yesterday and my room was stressing me out because it had been the same for like two years and I was like, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. So I like completely rearranged my entire room. Um, if you want like a room tour, if that actually interests you, then comment below. And just a pre-warning, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow because it needs cutting. So. so this week's video is about the story of my lip ring because everyone seems to fucking care so much about this tiny piece of fucking metal in my mouth. <laughs> well, on my lip. It's not in my mouth. That might be a tongue piercing. But yeah, everyone wants to know why I got a lip piercing and how much it hurt and how long it took to heal and all that shit. So I thought I'd put it in a video. Um, today is Wednesday the 17th of January 2018 and I got my lip pierced on July 14th, sorry, it looks like, I got my lip pierced on July 14th 2017 so it's been a few months. People always get confused which side it's on because I flip the, uh, the video because I, I don't like how I look the other way around. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's on my left side of my face. My left side is my good side. So I thought I'd stick a hole in it. But yeah, I've always wanted a lip piercing. It's just I've always I've always liked them. Always been into dudes with lip piercings. Frank Iero, you know. <laughs> exhibit A. And of course, exhibit B. Well, you all know you want I want a lip piercing. And I'll probably end up looking like a twat wearing one, but I want one. I got my lip pierced like a few days after I finished school, like forever, because I went to an able boarding school and I don't know how they'd feel about me having a lip piercing. But um, yeah, originally I was gonna vlog it, fucking vlog, it was gonna be my first vlog on my channel, <laughs> isn't that really exciting? Um, yeah, I, I tried vlogging it, but when we got to the place they said they couldn't film me getting my fucking lip done. I need to stop swearing. They said that I couldn't get like a video of me getting my lip done and I was kind of annoyed. <laughs> they said that like the video or whoever's filming me might distract me, <laughs> so here's the kind of vlog of the day if you haven't seen it already. Hi guys, uh, I just woke up and I couldn't sleep, I've got a headache, but that's okay because I'm getting my lip pierced, so um, yeah. Okay, so I brush my teeth a lot, obviously, that's normal, but um, I'm scared that I'll just have like really bad breath when I'm about to get my lip pierced, like the person's just going to be like, okay, just lay back, relax, open your mouth, it's going to be okay, and I'm going to like breathe on them, and it's not going to be okay. So I'm gonna brush really hard. Okay, so I'm just about to leave to go to London. So I'm gonna get the train. And I'm gonna meet my friend Club, because he was initially gonna get a nose piercing, but wasn't allowed. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna film Club. I don't know how he's gonna react to, like, my phone, the camera, whatever, fuck that. I told, I told him I'm vlogging it, but uh, we like to take the piss out of each other. So we'll see how that goes. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going? King's Cross. What are we doing now? You're getting a piercing and I'm recording it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently the place we went to, <laughs> we were going to go to, doesn't exist. Um, well, it does exist, but it, it doesn't does, exist there. It does exist. We looked it up online. It has a website and it's on Google Maps. But apparently it doesn't exist. I really don't understand what's happened. It's Why? literally not there. Why would you not take it off a map? How long did we... We walked like a mile and a half to find it. And it wasn't there. We were walking the same like cycle. Maybe again next time we pass this shop it'll be there. I will kill myself. I will just kill myself. So we're going somewhere else now. Oh, like the ballroom. <laughs> I got my lip pierced but... Oh, lift number one. <laughs> it's bruised. Lift. So yeah, I got it done in Cold Steel, I think, in Camden, um, in London, which is, is a good piercer's place, apparently. It's, it's good. The dude who did it was nice. He had like eight rings on one eyebrow, which I didn't understand, but I mean, you do you. It cost £30, which I, I mean, I get why they charge. That's their job, but like, I'm paying someone 30 quid to like stab me with a needle. But like, some people were into that, so whatever. So I asked you guys for like questions you had about my lip ring, my lip piercing. So here we go. Obviously the first one is, did it hurt? Um, 
People keep asking on a scale of 1 to 10 how much it hurt. Honestly, I don't really remember. It hurt more than I thought it would, but I think that's just because I'm a fat bottom lip, com com like, compared to my top lip. Um, it, it felt kind of more uncomfortable than painful. Like, the dude, ba right, basically to do it, the piercer dude, he just grabs your lip with a clout, and then he just, like, shoves it through. Like, and then when he's pierced it, the needle's just like that. It's just, it's just hanging there, and you're just like, but yeah, on a scale of one to ten, I don't know five. I don't, I don't really know a pain scale. Like, how do I know what ten feels like? I don't, I don't like these questions. It was actually like a lot more painful healing. Like, when when I got it done, it was kind of fine. But then, like an hour later, I was trying to eat, and I'll show you this video. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, but like the healing process hurt so much. Like it was swelling, it was throbbing, it was like leaking gunk. I don't know if I have any pictures of that, but um, it was just gross. Really, it, it was just really uncomfortable. I kind of regret getting it after like a week because it hurt so much. Uh, second question is, how did you feel about it when it was a stud? Um, I really didn't like it as a stud. Uh. Basically, when you get your lip ring, fuck. When you get your lip pierced, you're supposed to have a stud in it. Some people get rings, but you're not really supposed to get a ring first because it swells up a lot and it could get all dodgy. I got a stud and I didn't like how it looked. I looked like a fucking, I thought I looked like a lesbian and everyone's like, oh, maybe you shouldn't have got your lip done. And I'm like, bitch, bitch, I know it doesn't really look good now, but like it will soon. Someone asked how long it took to heal. Um, I, I'd say like a, like a month and a half. Or two, two months. Good two months. Um, I replaced it with a ring earlier than that because I'm a fucking idiot and it got swollen again. But um, for all the yellow shit to leave and for the swelling to go down, it took like a few months. It took, it took a while. Someone asked, uh, does it rub on my teeth? I'm like, does it rub on my gums? Um, with me at least, mine doesn't because I have like a fat bottom lip. Obviously, again, compared to my top one, but I have a fat one, so it doesn't... It doesn't touch my teeth at all, like, when it's, when it's just sitting there, it kind of just sits there on my lip, like, it's not touching anything else but uh, the lip. Uh, someone else asked if I've ever got it caught on my jumper. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, um, when I had the stud, it was a really long stud, obviously to, like, leave room for swelling. Um, but when I had that, every time I took off my shirt or every time I took off my jumper, it would get stuck, because I keep forgetting it was there. And it kind of just, I don't know, that really hurt. Like, it pulled the shit out of it, and I got even more swollen. Those are bad times. <laughs> I've also started to get it caught on my fork, because now that I'm used to it, I keep forgetting it's there, so when I try and eat, I go like, oh. And it gets, it gets caught in a ring. Uh, the last question is, does it feel weird kissing someone with a lip ring? I mean, yeah, like, every time I've kissed someone since uh, July, you know, a few months back, every time I've kissed someone, it's, uh... This felt pretty good, actually. I, you know, it's pretty sexy. Okay, now I'm joking. Like the answer is, I haven't kissed someone since I've had a lip ring. I haven't kissed someone since I was 13. That's a good five years ago. So uh, ask someone else. So yeah, that's this week's video. Um, I'm gonna try and upload twice a week now if I can do it. I think I can do it. I'm gonna proper try doing it because I feel like once a week isn't that not isn't that enough isn't isn't enough. So I'm gonna try to do more. Also, if you want to help me out with top surgery funding, um, I've released kind of merch things. Uh, they're t-shirts. They're cool. They're nice quality too. Um, uh, all the money that I get from those t-shirts and hoodies and shit is going towards my top surgery. And yeah, make sure to follow me on all my social media because that's what you really want to do. Bye, losers. <laughs>